It's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. I want to delve into a subject that has been somewhat controversial among believers through the years, and that has to do with the place of free will. How free is what we call free will? And I think from God's standpoint, he's made it clear. Uh, free will is something that we... Uh, refer to when we make decisions, we're free to choose. But uh, that's only to a certain extent. I want to read a couple of passages. Number one, this is from Ephesians chapter 1. <clears throat> Paul says, speaking for God, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us. He chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless. He chose us in him before the creation of the world. Now, were you alive before the creation of the world to make a decision for Christ? No, I don't think so. Nobody was. But he chose us before the creation of the world uh, to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, in love, he predestined. There it is. Now, people get hung up on that term, but it's biblical because it's, it's of God. He predestined us to be adopted as his son through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has really given to us in, in the one that he loves. He's predestined. That's what God has done. It's all of him from the beginning and on. He says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11, In him we were also chosen. God chose us. We didn't choose him. He chose us in eternity of past. God chose us having, uh, uh, in him we have been chosen, having been predestined according to the plan according to the plan of him who works out everything in a conformity with his purpose. God predestines according to his plan, which is a part of the purpose of his will, in order that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be for the praise of his glory. So from eternity of the past to eternity of the future, our salvation, our our. We are totally dependent upon God. He chose us. He predestined us. Uh, this is spoken of for, for us even uh, more specifically in, in Romans chapter 8. Familiar passage, Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to, to his purpose. Verse 39, or 29. For those God foreknew, he foreloved, foreknew, he also predestined. Those he for, for who he predestined. That's eternity of the past. We had, no, we had no part in that at all. He predestined to be conformed to the image, the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Those he predestined, foreknew, predestined, eternity of the past, those he predestined, he also called called. Now that's eternity now. That's present tense. We've been called. If you're a believer, you've been called. Uh, those he called, he also justified. That's eternity now. We've been justified by a work of his grace. Those he justified, he also glorified. Now let's put in the past tense, but it's as though it's accomplished fact already. We've not been glorified, but he sees us as has been glorified. So our whole salvation experience, our whole relationship to God is determined by God. Now we can, uh, we can walk close to that or we can uh, depart from that. And that's where I think we get the idea of free will. 
But our salvation is totally dependent on God. Eternity of the past, foreknowledge, predestination, eternity, present, called, and justified, eternity of the future, we're glorified. You know, I think that's important that we recognize that our whole salvation experience is a result of God's initiative, not ours. We belong to Him because He fore, foreplanned for predestined it to be a case. And we praise God for it. Salvation is totally from eternity of the past to eternity of the future, totally from God. And that is the truth.